The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Hey, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Merry New Year. Happy Christmas, as that oh, Billy Ray Valentine used to say, Capricorn. Anyway, boys and girls, we're going to start out today with the Treasury bond market. I've got a bunch of questions to answer that people have emailed in. Evidently, they just got tired of waiting on the phone lines. And so we're going to cover some of those. But as you can see, this Treasury bond is in big trouble, folks. Uh, we just missed the 382 this week by one tick. It's now down another $1,500 and continues. We've taken out the lows of the last uh, five or six weeks now, uh, not looking uh, very, very good. Now, let's get back. Someone's asked a question about uh, stock I know nothing about other than it's called uh, Planeton or something like that, Peloton or no, no, wait, uh, Plan Planeteer, Planeteer, Peloton's the exercise. You'll see here this came out as a uh, opening price at 9. It went to 34. It's now down at the 61% retracement at 18. It's also, if you look at it very closely, you can see the ABCD pattern is there. The C leg will be 382 of the high, and now we've come down. So it's very strong support here in that if you want to buy the stock, you know, you're, you're only risking about a buck buck and a half here to, to buy it as opposed to uh, half the price between 34 and 18 but this is a weaker than market stock and I know the stocks will I can officially say the stocks will never go down uh, folks I can't believe what's happening in the S&P well I should believe it Woody. I've seen everything in the world after 60 some years we've had a drop in open interest over the last five weeks in the S&P 500 along with the NASDAQ but the one in the S&P has been absolutely unbelievable but we were at 2.7 million. The high, in the, the high open interest on the S&P folks was a year ago at 3.2 million. The high we've been so far this year was 2.7. And now what we're looking at is 2.2. We've lost a half a million people in the last month. Uh, half a million longs and shorts have left the market. So it's going to be really, really interesting to see what happens to this. Now, I was watching something very, very closely today. I thought it was going to be important. I want to get it up here to show you where we were. Here is, let's get it the right way. Here it is. One second. This is the NASDAQ. And you'll see here that uh, we were looking at an area between uh, 16245 and 162.78. We just went above 162.78. Uh, I don't know what the high was, but I saw it at 83 just a little while ago. And the last price I'm showing now is 62.98. So it has certainly shattered uh, that number. So uh, not to worry about that one. I uh, I am not doing any trading today, but boy, I'm sure doing a lot of looking, folks. I'll tell you that. I'm not used to working in December. I never have. Uh, when I worked at Drexel, you never worked the last two weeks of December. That was uh, time for giving. Uh, it was really an incredible time. Uh, the office was uh, on the corner of Wilshire and Rodeo. That was before Rodeo Drive was very famous. There was the promenade there, but nothing like what it is today. Uh, it was taken over by Middle Eastern interest uh, back in 19... Mm. Started in 1976 and continues to this day. Now, uh, I wanted to share with you some information on Tesla. Uh, the stock market is moving very quickly for Tesla. We stopped uh, right at the ABCD pattern, right into the 50% level, and right at the gap. The gap was filled. And from there, we've gone from 900. We hit the low was 901. And I saw the tape this morning crossing the board at uh, 1028. So that's one that's going to be interesting. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, the NASDAQ has made another new high now. That's good. Okay, let's get on to some of these things here uh, that we want to watch. Besides that, there are other things that we're watching very, very closely. One of which, let me walk through what I do here when I'm not uh, – well, uh, <laughs> I got to cover some of these stocks. I'm sorry, folks. Here's the one that we were looking at from our gentleman, in, I believe, in Connecticut here. 
We're setting at one standard deviation right now, I was just told, in the uh, NASDAQ. So watch that very closely, folks. It's hard. Uh, these uh, these put buyers are going to be in big trouble if they uh, get so much above one standard deviation. Here is where we are with this uh, ZS. I don't know what that means. But anyway, remember the gentleman I said I would be getting out of it at 326, I think. That was the ABCD. It went up to uh, 378, went all all the way down to 268 and I do, you'll probably today it's probably trading around 330 because that's an ABCD Gartley pattern I don't know what the high is going to be today but uh, there is an ABCD Gartley pattern at that point and remember folks these patterns do fail you know we've had uh, I had two losses yesterday which of course we had a profit in the gold but uh, we didn't get filled in the bonds that was a fifteen hundred dollar one that we missed, but we lost. Uh, we lost. Uh, uh, what we lose? We lose five hundred dollars in the S and P, and we lost six hundred dollars in the crude oil. But of course, we were up quite a bit for the week because we we booked well over five thousand dollars in the gold. But that's neither here nor there. They only worry about the restaurant business. If it's as good as your last meal. But we do have something working, and I think it's important to pay attention to. Uh, we were on with Mr. Z yesterday talking about the. Uh, soybean market and I wanted to uh, bring that to your attention here because it's uh, got some really interesting patterns here We'll get, in fact, it hit the hit the almost to the exact penny yesterday, and uh, now it's backed off a little bit. Those are that head and shoulders bottom that we said was very important for a major low in soybeans. It was just absolutely perfect. The right shoulder, much lower than the left shoulder, exactly what you like to see, pulling down right to a 61% retracement, and then up on the way. And that's completed that pattern, folks. So that's the main thing that you've got to remember. You know, you just, well, if you want to stay in it, you know, and ride it for a little bit higher, I guess that's okay. But that's not how I look at things. I try to, you know, find the best trades with the smallest uh, possible uh, entry that I can possibly get. And I've been watching one very, very closely here, folks. This is the one I'm paying very close attention to, and that's just this natural gas. I mean, we're in the we're in the time when natural gas should be screaming. And it is screaming, folks. The problem is it's screaming to the downside. And that's what's really interesting about this darn thing. It's It's got – I'll just show you last night what I was watching – uh, watch what I was watching for it to happen. Here's what I was watching in natural gas last night. Uh, if you'll notice here that we had a really nice ABCD pattern, and you can see the parallel channels that are there. And it says there should be some really strong support down there at that 382, at uh, three, uh, right, right around 380, is uh, 379, 380. So I said, well, I'm not going to trade it, but I'm going to watch it. I decided not to do anything uh, with that until I was uh, absolutely sure that the time of uh, December was over and I was well rested and that will take me more than a day or two but let's take a look here what happened because I, I said gee I why just why didn't I just reverse and sell it look what happened to, to the natural gas that I was looking at you see it stopped right at the 382 it rallies $400 and then belches like an elephant that's been eating too many peanuts Woo. we went down here folks we touched the old low believe it or not 877-927-6648 Billy Ray Valentine Capricorn Merry Christmas Keep those cards and letters coming in boys and girls You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're back, and my little uh, handy little bell just went off just a second. Pay very close attention to crude oil now, boys and girls. Uh, we are at a really critical level here. We just took out the highs of a week or so ago at 73.29 by one tick. So watch it closely because it's up against some major 61% retracement here. Uh, and, of course, I tried that yesterday, and they handed me a $600 uh, debit credit. From uh, In other words, I had to pay that bill for the crude oil, but uh, the others were working uh, relatively okay. Now, I wanted to bring your attention to – I've already talked about the – uh, I wanted. I, I posted a chart of the corn. We've also made the profit objective uh, in the corn market. The other one that we've been following very closely, I don't have the chart on it, but you've seen it so many times, you're probably tired of looking at it, and that is in the Japanese yen dollar. There's a big head and shoulders pattern coming due here very, very quickly. So pay attention to that. I'll be watching that over the weekend. Uh, you won't be getting, those of you that get the videos and stuff, you won't be getting anything until probably Saturday morning I'll be doing a little bit, and uh, but that's pretty much it. I've got to do some work Saturday morning uh, here in the in the community, but I will get it out early because I don't start that till a little bit later. Hold on, I just want to make sure that I'm watching this correctly in the crude oil because uh, yep, well, we've done that, and I just want to make sure we got there. So I. Uh, well, watch it anyway. I, I watch these breakout points, folks, because when they don't work, it's just like the one in the NASDAQ. You know, once we went above uh, 16,000. Um, uh, 284 that was telling you wanted to go higher so i you know you don't really know you know where these things are going to end hold on i have to do a couple technical things there's a number i wanted 7333 that's what i wanted 7333 now i can turn off the beeper and live in peace okay let's move on to a couple things that we're also talking about here um the next one I wanted to show you, of course, we've talked about the the corn, and I wanted to bring the other stock that was very interesting here because uh, Bo had this position on, and it's really amazing that, in fact, well, I, sh I shouldn't say it's amazing, but look at the, the tremendously bullish news we had on Nike. I mean, it had that huge gap up from 156 
all the way to 170. It jumped up uh, $14, and we've been trading below that number all the time. I saw today it was trading a little above 166, as I believe, but it's still a 135 pattern. The high that we made there at 170 was an exact 61% retracement of the high that we made back on November the 5th. So that's what we're watching here uh, today. So I hope that gives you some information. But all I'm doing now is I'm watching how market reacts to good news or bad news. And in the stock market, it makes no difference. Bad news, it goes up. Good news, it goes up. It doesn't make any difference because it's going to go up forever. I was tempted to show you what I was told today from my good, well, I was suggested today to look at, to show this again. This is this long-term picture. We sent this out on December 10th, which was 13 days ago. And that was with the S&P trading it. This is the S&P SPX, folks. 47.27 plus or minus 5. The high had been 47.31. And we're back up. In fact, we just made a new high in the SPX, I heard, on Bloomberg. So that's very interesting, too. To, uh, pay attention to too. We're in the midst of the Santa Claus rally, and uh, so we'll we'll be following that very very closely. Now I believe the markets are closed tomorrow, but the rest of the world uh, will not be closed. I don't believe, and so what they'll be doing is they'll be trading in Europe and Asia and other places like that. But it's going to be extremely light, and that can yield to be really accentuated moves. So that's the thing that uh, you want to remind. I I will not be watching things tomorrow uh, at all. I'm going to be uh, up to my uh, eyeballs in work. Anyway, let's move over here. Uh, not the kind of work that I'm used to either. Let's move over here to the uh, natural gas for just a second. I want to get that weekly chart up here to show you because we did make a lower low uh, today. What happened to it? Here it is. Where is it? Oh, this is the daily. There's the daily. Let me get this up here right now. And you'll see we did make a lower low. Uh, Europe doesn't know. Europe doesn't close for Christmas, and certainly Asia Asia doesn't either. So, it's a big deal here. Of course, everybody loves it. I don't know about you folks, but I don't. You know, I buy presents for the little ones. You know, the two-year-old and the eight-year-old and the ten-year-old. Uh, and I, you know, some of it was electronic, but everything went through. I mean, I would order things; it would be there in two days. There was no back supplies or anything. And I'm noticing here that you know, there's not anything on the shelves that's missing. I mean, it's just a. Uh, 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 stuff we're hearing is just totally amazing. Oh, on a sad note, uh, my friend that I told you about uh, just a few days ago, uh, he passed away uh, early this morning, around 2 in the morning. They called me to tell me uh, he was perfectly healthy on Friday, and he was gone Thursday morning. I mean, this is... Uh, it's a big shock to me. I mean, he how he played, you know, he's only 67. He still was playing senior softball. He played center field. Uh, he's from Philadelphia, just the nicest guy. He was a uh, jewelry merchant. And I met him here uh, many years ago. They have a big jewelry show here in uh, Tucson every year in January, or February, the first two weeks in February. All the jewelers from all over the world come. About 30,000 uh, uh, descend upon Tucson. They take all the rental cars. And uh, I mean, it's just a amazing how much business there was anyway he was here and uh, on the first day the hotel he was staying in burned down and i had met him and he was trying to ask me where could he get a place and the cl closest place is casa grande which was an hour away and i said howie i said you know if you want if you want to stay with me you know stay with me i said you know two weeks i said i'm a bachelor so it's no problem well he stayed with me for 27 years and until last year when it was his last year and then he retired but uh oh he's gone now and i'm I'm really sad. I, some of you that have visited me here have met Howie, but uh, it's a real sadness to see him, uh, uh, you know, see him pass away. It was just really a big surprise. That's the only, uh, the only, the second person uh, that I know at that age had died so unexpectedly. So I don't know. Oh my goodness! I got a big note here. I have, I have an apology, boys and girls. I talked the other day about the fact that India had only had half a million deaths, and I got more in. I got more emails on that than any single thing I've done here in the 15 years I've been at TFNN. And I, I sincerely apologize and I understand and the reason is there are so many little small towns in India that don't even have you know, much communication at 
all. So and very little. Uh, some of the hospitals and stuff. So the, that number is so uh, exaggerated to the downside. It's not really fair. I saw things from six to twelve to fifteen million people out of the uh, 1.3 billion people there. But uh, I apologize sincerely for that. And folks, believe me, I will. Pro- I'm not going to try to. I keep saying that, but I never do. I don't want to talk about uh, the political stuff of this stuff because most of it, I think, is just, you know, it's fear. It's, you know, false evidence appearing real. And in order to face your fear, you got in order to beat your fear, the only you can do is face it, folks. You know, I know that the, 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 the disease is bad. Uh, our hospitals here, are the next door neighbor right here, DJ, she's the head nurse in surgical. And of course, she's in the intensive care unit all the time. And their intensive care unit is about 25% filled here during the holidays. So we're not having any really bad trouble here so far with the uh, things here in Tucson. But that's not Tucson. The rest of the world you know they live too when we get back folks we're not going to have pork bellies but we're going to have the next best thing coming up Having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, we're back, folks, and I wanted to uh, bring to your attention when I talked about that crude oil hitting that the 7333, uh, that just set off my limit minder. I'm not looking, I wasn't necessarily looking to see if that was going to be a short sale or not. I you know, was watching a few other things, and I'm not, I'm not trading today, and I'm not trading tomorrow. I won't be doing anything probably until Sunday, and I might even take the whole week off. I'm not sure as of yet, but I see things happening that I think are going to be quite exciting. The volatility in these markets is going to increase. Now, I did post the chart of the lie of the live hogs, as you can see here. Uh, this is following uh, very, very nicely to the upside. We had a beautiful Gartley down there about five cents ago, and now you can see we're getting going up to that area, and with the, the holidays coming, uh, this is the time for hams and bacon and all that stuff, and so they do increase the prices, because uh, I happen to send a honey bake ham to some people here that that uh, are a little underprivileged, well, greatly underprivileged. And so I sent honey bake hams to these folks. And uh, it's really hard to get them here in Tucson. I had to order uh, ahead of time. And now when I try to do a couple more, uh, they didn't have any more. They're supposed to get some in, but whether they have it in by tomorrow or not, they're not even really sure. So we'll have to uh, wait and see. It's just, what really amazes me, folks, is how many people are really hurt. I mean, Tucson is a nice community. I mean, we don't have a... Uh, uh, a lot of a lot of poverty, but boy, you could you should see the people that are having trouble. I mean, it's just really amazing. And, and the most amazing thing yesterday, I was down there doing a couple things, and and I saw a, a young family with three little kids, five, seven, and nine, and you wouldn't believe how much abuse, the physical abuse they got from the parent. It wasn't the father; the mother beat the hell out of these kids. You know, one kid's got a broken arm. The other one's got two black eyes. I mean, I, I, why that person isn't in jail, I don't understand. And how they can do that, I mean, I, I, I still don't understand, you know. I used to get the heck kicked out of me when I was a little kid, but I deserved it. I mean, I'd get the switch or the or the, or the, the, uh, the belt. I got that all the time because I was mischievous as heck. But, you know, for heaven's sakes, no one ever broke my arm or, you know, punched me in the face or anything like that. I mean, being a little like that, they're totally defenseless. All right, I'm off my soapbox. I'm just telling you what I'm seeing, boys and girls. Let's get back to something that is really fun to talk about, and that's the days at Drexel Burnham back on where o Rodeo Drive. At Christmas time, I've told you before that Jim Twentyman's girlfriend, Margot Grant, ran the catering company that Mr. Milken took care of. Um, they had breakfast, lunch, and dinner served to the Milken people in, in junk bonds. Excuse me, high high. Uh, High income bonds, and and anything that was left over, Mar Margo would fix it up really nice and bring it down to the stock and commodity uh, down on the first floor, and always do that. But at Christmas time, that was really special. We had this huge Christmas tree in the lobby, and it, right inside the lobby was a uh, conference room, and in that conference room, every single day for two weeks, they would have this giant ice sculpture filled with jumbo shrimp. And they kept it filled. I mean, I don't know how much they ate, but it was a lot. And people would come in from outside, didn't even know who they were. They would come in and have the hors d'oeuvres and shrimp and stuff like that. And they were very, very generous with their, of course, they made a lot of money too, but they were very generous, you know, during the Christmas holidays and stuff. And they always took care. Uh, these. They, they would have many of these baskets that they would prepare for the, uh, uh, now they weren't homeless at the time, but the, I guess they were called the Needy. And at Drexel, you were you were you weren't expected. You were ordered to give a nice donation every year at, uh, during the Christmas holidays, and it usually was based on you know what your percentage of your income was, and that was no problem. But uh, they were very generous about that. I those were some of my warmest feelings of uh, seeing that. In our group, there were 22 people, uh, brokers plus the staff, which was about another 40 people on that first floor. And there were uh, four commodity brokers, myself, Twentyman, Jack Friedman, and what the heck was Maury's last name? I can't remember Maury's last name. Yeah, it'll come to me in a minute. Anyway, and then there were there were 18 uh, regular brokers. Of those 18 brokers, they were all seven, 16 were Jewish, and we had one uh, gentleman from Japan, and we had Adora Chan. She was from uh, China, and so those were the only ones that uh, only had two non-Jews. And when I after I'd been there two years, they replaced my glass door on my office, and uh, it said, you know, I, you know the 
those no, the titles that you had didn't mean anything. But underneath my name and my title in in, in uh, apostrophes, it was uh, resident Goya, and uh, the, that's the name for a non-Jew. And uh, they 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 used to tease me about that because I I spent more time studying the Jewish religion and all their observances as much as I did the Christianity stuff. So they did that. And when I left, I wanted that door and they wouldn't give it to me. So I, I was even ready. To, well, I was ready to buy it, but I still couldn't get it. But anyway, that's just the old days and how things go. All right. A couple other things that we're looking at. We've looked at Nike. Uh, we've looked at the soybeans. Uh, the uh, well, here's what here's what's happened to natural gas today. I can show you. I think I put this up already. Let's get this up here to see if we can get it here. Hold on here, right there. There was where we go. Okay. Oh, one other thing about this time at Christmas at uh, at Drexel, uh, two of the two of the brokers, believe it or not, at Drexel were actually rabbis. They had gone to the seminary and they they actually went to the the Los Angeles prisons. And ministered to the to the Jewish uh, prisoners and stuff. And there were there were quite a few more than I thought there would be. But uh, they also did that, and they they get they did a lot of that uh, what they call philanthropic work, uh, which was uh, a lot of fun to see. All right, someone asked it. One other question that someone asked me was about a stock, and I got it here somewhere, and I can't find the doggone thing. Well, I'll find it in just a minute. I hope. Shut the front door. Hope. Let's get on to heating oil because we're breaking out here in the heating oil, too. I wanted you to bring this to your attention. Uh, we have the – oh, I hit the wrong button. Shut the front door. I think I I think I put the – I put the uh, – yeah, I bet I did, didn't I? Yeah, I put the wrong thing in there. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Sorry about that, TFNN. I'm, I'll get this up. Here. Oh, now I've lost my – I've lost the den here, boys and girls. Just a minute. Hold on. I've got to get it up here one more time. Boy, oh, boy. Don't ever let an Italian near in a computer. It's dangerous. Okay, it should be back up here in just a second. There we go. Anyway, I will get this uh, heating oil chart up so you'll be able to see it without any danger. I'll be more careful here. And there we go. There's see we're breaking out. We're getting ready to go up to that 240 level uh, in the heating oil. That's the ABCD structure on that. We had a beautiful buy down there. I missed that whole thing. I've talked about it too many times here. So that's what we're paying attention to here today. And what else we got to do here? Wow, still got 10 minutes to go, and I've covered everything I wanted to cover. Not a good sign. Not a good. Oh, I got a few other. Here's the stock. Here's the stock. I did find it. It's uh, Robin Hood and his Merry Men. And there's Robin Hood right here. If you'll see this. You'll notice here I put this red box in here just for your purposes of uh, learning something, okay? All during this move down, folks, from August the 2nd when the opening came out, you know, with the uh, – it was, what, five days after the thing. Everybody said everybody had it. It was at 40, and they took it to 90 in one day. I mean, you talk about a hose job. Anyway, we're going to talk about this red box when we get back, folks. Very important red box. Box 877-927-6648. Billy Ray Valentine, Capricorn. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. 
With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we're talking about uh, Robin Hood, and you'll notice the stock has gone from 90 to 17, but I wanted you to highlight the red box that I put on this chart here because that's the only place in this chart that has an ABCD pattern in it that I could find. It's a small one, but you have to look at it closely. But if you look at it, you'll see there's a nice little ABCD pattern there. And, of course, when it breaks, it was halfway down, and uh, you can see what's happened to it. So these ABCDs are predictable in nature, but they're certainly not infallible. And when they do fail, you've got to get out of the way. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. So let's keep that in mind as we look at these charts uh, each day. I think it's very important that we... Uh, and we watch that. Now, the next one I wanted to talk about is something that I'm going to be doing, oh, sometime in the near future. How much in the future? I'm not really sure. But this is a chart of the natural gas. I want to go through this because I've really got my eye on this because this is this is the pork bellies of the futures market, folks. It moved with the margins only like 2,900, and it moves that much every day. This is where we were just a few days ago on December the 19th. That was last Friday. I believe. And you'll notice here we had the ABCD. Now that measured just a little above four. And we, of course, it went to four. And of course, it, from four, it went all the way down to uh, 360. It dropped uh, $4,000 in a matter of uh, one day and a half. So those are the kind of things that you want to be looking at. The reason why I'm bringing this to your attention and showing you with a moving average on it, that's just with a simple, uh, I think that's an exponential moving average. I put that on because I don't use moving averages, but I, I worked with people like Jay Crosp. Uh, that was very, very good with, with uh, using moving averages, but he used them a little bit differently, and that's what uh, I want to be able to show you. The only time that I ever sat with Amos Hostetter was in 1972. I got to spend an hour with him. We went to lunch and then came back, and I was at his desk with Jay and chatting with him and stuff. We spent a couple hours, and everything was done by hand, folks. You know, remember, we didn't have any of these fancy computers. You know, your stuff came through on ticker tape. You had to do it all by hand, 
and he had a secretary that did all that, and she charted everything. But he kept a, he kept a what we call a ledger of what prices should be doing, and what I'm going to be doing sometime when I do the next uh, day trading system, a day trading uh, event sometime in March, uh, I'm going to share with you what that was, and uh, it's it's really quite uh, quite interesting, and it does work, and uh, it's it's really uh, it's something that is uh, important. I, I, the only reason I'm doing this is that somebody from the old days, uh, the old Drexel days, uh, and the Conti Commodity days say, why don't you ever talk about that? We used to do this all the time. And I said, well, I really just look at ABCDs anymore. I keep it as simple as possible. But he said, you know, this thing is really good for following a trend. I said, yeah, I know. But then I started looking at it and looked at some of my notes, and I'm going to share the stuff with you. You may or may not be able to use it, but it's good stuff. It's a, it's a variation of a moving average, but it's not a variation that you've been exposed to that I that near that I know. All I know is that on that sheet that uh, that uh, Amos had, he had a, a number there. He wrote that number down, and, and it was always in red. And you could see every day there was a number in red. And I asked him, I said, what is that number? He said, if, if that number is red, I want to be short. And he said, if it's not red, I can be long. And so that red number was the one that, uh, that was really important. So... We'll keep an eye on some of these things to give us a better idea of what's going on. Now, we've made, I think we're making new highs in the S&P. If not, we're very, very close. But another one that's going to be really important to watch, folks, uh, is this, uh, and I keep talking about it, and that's this dollar index. I'll be doing, uh, over, the, over the holidays, I'm going to be watching this dollar index like a hawk. Because uh, the euro could be getting ready to go either way. We have such a long consolidation in the euro that when it does come, it's going to be really, really exciting. And uh, I, you know, we've had up and down now just for the last few days. We just completed a big ABCD last night in the uh, euro up there at that 113.25 or something like that. And there, that was halfway back into that number. So, you know, this thing has been in a sideways action for a month. Folks, this is either accumulation or distribution. It's how it's going to come out of here. And when it does, and when it does, look out. You know, these things could really move a long way. Now, why would Europe gain so much on the U.S. dollar? It could be who's got the cleanest, dirty shirt. You know, that's that's all I know because, you know, we got a lot of problems in this country. we got a lot of problems in the U.K. we got a lot of problems in China. So which, which uh, you know, which currency are they going to go to? And I'm going to give you a big hint. It's the same color as the sun. And if you don't get that one, you don't get to play in the sandbox anymore. Speaking of the sun, if we look at the gold market, watch this number right here, folks. If we close above 1812 in the gold, and I'm not talking about the war of 1812. I'm just talking about 1812. That was the high of the day today uh, in the gold. If we close above that. We could start to see gold get ready to really, really a big move. I don't know if those of you that follow, um, I don't remember the uh, name of the call. To say, uh, it's a big marketing firm. They use Jim Rickards a lot. Jim Rickards did a webinar yesterday, uh, two hours. He offered something for uh, $2,400. He sold it out. He was offering 5,000 units, and in three hours, they supposedly sold it out. And I'm going to give you a little hint at what it was. It was a strategy for buying calls on the GDX. I don't know how you're going to make $2,400 back on that unless it has a monster move. But we are watching GDX, you know, very, very closely. It's still, you know, hanging down near the lows. Not much happening. But for me, 1812 is going to be very important in that gold market because that would exceed the last 78% level. It would also give us an indication that maybe we're finally getting ready to have a big move because that move off of 1755 was dramatic, folks. We moved $6,000 off of that, and uh, it looked like it was never going to stop going up. And then, of course, it got to two uh, two harmonic numbers up there at 1815. High today has been 1811. That's already above the 78% level to 1809. And that's the second indication that, yes, it may be getting ready to have a, a pretty good move. So we're keeping a close eye, you know, on that one. So we'll be watching that very closely. Boy, this NASDAQ is really smoking today, folks. We're already up to uh, 163.17. That's 30 points higher than I thought it could get to. So I'll have to 
to write that one down in the history books, for heaven's sakes. We're going to be close watching all of these as we look through. The bonds are still weakening, I notice, and that's pretty much what we're looking at here today. we got a break coming up, and we get back to the break. we got to figure out how we're going to get all these Christmas presents to you folks today. Oh, by the way, the person that sent me the very large credit card, uh, I don't know who it was, but please get in touch with me. I'd like to thank you. I got a credit card thing in the mail, uh, and, and it didn't say anything. And I know it didn't come from my family. They never gave me anything. So <laughs> whoever sent it, and I am assuming it's somebody from TFNN or maybe not. I don't know. But no one – it was blank. I mean, it was just a card. It was a gift card, you know, for 200 bucks. The problem is, my friend, that you sent it to me, they don't accept these at the racetrack. Now I've got to figure out how to convert it into real cash. Hold on, we got a question from somebody coming in, possibly, and it was, and it wasn't a pre-approved application. Nope, it was an absolute gift card. Is what it was. It was a Visa gift card. I didn't even know they had these things, but uh, it was for two hundred bucks, which is uh, awfully nice. But we'll see uh, what happens with these things. Okay, now uh, let's move on to a couple other little things that might be happening. Hmm. We've got a break coming up here. We're in the break. Why don't they tell me these things? Uh-huh. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC.
Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. All right, folks, I want to bring to your attention, this is the Dow Jones E-mini chart, and we're above uh, that, I think we're really close to the 36,000 level. Uh, that'll be getting close to a new high, but, you know, we've just made that 78% retracement down there, so it could easily go up and make a new high for another ABCD. The next one I wanted to show you, I think, is very important. It comes from uh, Robert Schiller from Yale University through Crescent Capital and also the courtesy of Elliott Wave International. This is going back to the 1900s, showing different peaks that have occurred in valuations. GDP, sales, book value, all of these things are in a very, very high level peak. In fact, if you, they call it the everything peak up in here, that I don't know. I don't know what everything peak means. All I know is just looking at all these charts and looking at the vertical move that we've had. You watch these stocks go from, well, you know, you can see Peloton went from what nine to a thirty-four, and then back to eighteen, and not that's just one. You can see some of the others that have gone absolutely gaga. So all I can tell you is that uh, the only cure for high prices is high prices, and the only cure for low prices is low prices. So all I'm saying with that is, when this thing does turn, and when it does turn. We're going to be ready because I can trade the short side of the market a whole lot easier than I can the long side. You know why? Because the short side is faster because fear is a greater emotion than read. And Billy Ray Valentine and Santa want to wish you all a very happy holidays wherever you are. And may God bless them every day in an attitude of gratitude. And may God bless. Rudolph, Rudolph, I'm almost ready. Keep the faith, boys and girls. 